Tom Dupree here, former Deputy Assistant Attorney General under George W. Bush, the man we turn to uh, at times like this. Good to see you, sir, as always. Look, you predicted that this wasn't going to go well for the Colorado lawyers. Did you think it was going to go this badly? Probably not. Maybe not this badly. But look, I, I always said that they had an uphill battle, and it would not surprise me at all, to your point, if this ends up being a unanimous decision. We heard very skeptical questioning today from both Justices Sotomayor and Jackson, who you would think would not be in the Trump camp, but very skeptical of Colorado's position. And I think in a larger sense, there would be a great interest, an institutional interest, really, in producing a unanimous decision, if that's at all possible. I don't think it's out of the question. And you can bet that Chief Justice Roberts this evening is scratching his head, trying to figure out if there's a way to craft a majority opinion that would command unanimity. Because you're absolutely right. If the Supreme Court could speak with a unanimous voice in this case, which of all cases you would expect to be politically polarizing, but if they can achieve unanimity and speak with a single voice, I think a lot of Americans would look at the court and say, well, hey, maybe this actually was decided on the basis of the law and our Constitution, not on politics. It took an hour for really what, if, if Donald Trump is an insurrectionist, to even come up uh, in the arguments. I think for, for lay people, that would be pretty surprising. Pull back the curtain for us in terms of why the in insurrection and the insurrection clause doesn't really matter. Sure. The, the reason why it doesn't really matter whether he actually engaged in an insurrection or not is because before you even get to that question, you have to figure out how this whole 14th Amendment process for disqualifying people for insurrections works. And if you think, as it appeared that maybe a majority of the justices think that it doesn't work this way. In other words, a state like Colorado can't just unilaterally disqualify someone from their presidential ballot. Well, then the question whether Trump engaged in an insurrection or didn't doesn't really matter. It becomes a moot point, and it's not a question the justices ever have to answer. And I can bet you that there are a few, if any, justices on the court who would be eager to dive into that question about whether former President Trump engaged in an insurrection. They would much rather decide this question on the basis of the law. Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.